day. I'm not a, a guy that knows <laughs> what day is uh, good to put a balloon out there, but I, I feel like it would have been. It wasn't too terribly breezy today. Yeah. I did see some planes flying over, some, some not only passenger planes, but also some private planes. People just kind of taking in some of the skies over Lake Erie today. So with the breeze being a little bit at a minimum, the clouds being evading the, the, the area as well, it made for a nice Saturday. Yeah, you, you want a little bit of breeze with a balloon, a but, but not enough to take it out of your hand, right? Uh, uh, yes, we do not need an emergency <laughs> to be talking about here, enjoying on our weekend. But overall, when you look at the conditions that we have outside right now, Will, and you're planning the remainder of your weekend, you're wondering, hey, can we do it again? Well, you can see as we look ahead, we do have some wet weather to talk about in the days ahead. That rainy pattern beginning a part in part of the western half of the state and beginning to edge towards our area. And it will also allow for some warmer than normal temperatures. Of course, when you have extra cloud cover kind of hovering above the surface, you kind of subdue some of that heat and kind of allow it to kind of stick around a little bit. And that's what we have on tap for us. Here's exactly where we're going for the remainder of the evening. You can see there our temperatures are going from the upper 60s into the mid to low 60s, and that is about where we're going to hang out. We should be in the 50s for the overall nightly lows, but because we'll have that cloud cover and also those rain showers around, we're going to stay in the 60s. Here's exactly what's happening right now. So take a look at this here. You can see on satellite and radar some of the clouds that we were talking to you about earlier on the week and especially yesterday already beginning to filter on in here and we're starting to have some filtered sunshine as well. You saw in our CSU cam that line of showers is riding right along the eastern edge of our area of low pressure. As of right now, the Storm Prediction Center in Norman, Oklahoma is saying that we're at a marginal risk, which is just about a one out of five. Not terrible, the lowest one on the on the totem pole, but showers will be likely for us again as we make our way through the overnight and also tomorrow in terms of our winds. Our winds will pick up just a hair and there could also be a few rumbles to talk about as well in the overnight hours. So here's the big picture. Here's what's setting up right now. So you can see where the front is. You can see those areas of low pressure, high pressure, that ridging that we've been talking about, keeping us relatively quiet and also nice beginning to move out of here. So that's what's been keeping us pretty calm here. As it exits, it's going to allow for this front to begin to move closer to the area. As of right now, this front is just crawling, but on the leading edge of it, we're throwing a lot of the southerly winds here. And when you get the warmer air closer to the surface and the colder air on top, that is a recipe to start some of the showers and even some thunderstorms. So you can see as your national design mark hour by hour forecast as we roll forward here through the overnight cloud cover again moving on in. We'll have those south southwesterly winds keeping things pretty warm overnight. Shower activity increasing even in the overnight through early hours for tomorrow. Peppered in nature, some quiet spots, some very wet spots, and maybe even a few rumbles, as I said before. Even the morning commute, 9, 10, 11, we're talking about widespread shower activity, again, uh, moving into the area. And because some of it could be heavy at times, there could be some ponding on our roadways, secondary and even some primary roadways as well. Even through the afternoon, some dry spots to be possible. If we squeeze out a little bit of sunshine out there for us, my friends, that could ignite a few thunderstorms in the afternoon. So again, those rumbles might turn to even multiple rumbles as well. Through the evening and also the overnight, we could quiet down a bit, but all of that activity roars right back into Monday as well through midday and also late afternoon. As I said before, as the front comes along with it, so does some breezy winds, and we're talking about having and gusts anywhere from maybe 15 up to 20 miles per hour. You can see there in Ashtabula by Sunday night. How much rainfall are we expecting? Well, this is not going to be a terribly moisture ridden storm system, but because we could have some training over some spots there, some hot spots, I like to call them, that could be anywhere from maybe a quarter to maybe a half inch, even some icy amounts up to an inch or so. And if we keep those areas very much so wet prone with the soil absorbing all that moisture, we we'll be talking about one, perhaps even up to one and a half inches of rainfall. Current temperatures out there quite mild. I should say so myself. Dover at 73. You can see there up at the airport, 73 as well. Overnight lows again, hanging out in the mid to low 60s area wide. You can see by tomorrow on the hour there as you're planning out your Sunday, we go from the 60s to start up to the 70s, 71 degrees in the afternoon. That's about the best we'll do for our Sunday afternoon. As far as your Union Home Mortgage seven day outlook, we kind of hang around in the 70s. That pesky storm system will keep things relatively warm for us all across the area. Sunshine middle of the week, Tuesday heading into Wednesday. High pressure wants to come back in pretty close. But it's not going to really hang out over us. We'll have another wet pattern to complete the week with our temperatures hanging out in the mid to low 70s, overnight lows, upper 50s, low 60s. So again, not terrible, Will. We could be a lot colder, but we're not. I spent the last several mornings splitting wood 
Oh, okay. You're, and by the looks of things, I, I planned that perfectly because it's going to be yes. so wet and the storm's coming in. I got that. It's all in the woodshed now, and I'm good for the winter. Good. Make sure it's dry so it is ready for the winter. Yeah. Well, we can spend a couple years and let it uh, let it age a little bit. Uh, okay. Right? Okay. Like fine wine. <laughs> yeah, absolutely.